Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming. I am your host, Lord Fenton, and in today's session of Bard's Tale, Tales of the Unknown, we are going to gain the Steam Achievement, The Mage's Tale, and a few surprises. A uh, quickie update, and so far, Kayla has basically the same items. The Hunter in my party has a Blood Axe, which is a Hunter only item. It's pretty nice. I uh, got my Bard a few more Mithril items and other random accessories, and a few more Fire Horns, which is real nice. As you see before you. Now let's go to the uh, rogue next. Got a whole bunch of mithril items, elf cloak, and shield ring. He's done. Uh, I got some nice mithril items and and more stuff for the one mage. The other two mages are the same thing, but we're all getting all there very nicely. Now let's go get the uh, mage's tail. Mage's tail when you get all sevens in the uh, four uh, casters classes. When you do that, the steam achievement will pop up, and right there is the mage's tail. So all you have to do is level all four classes of seven, I mean uh, level 13, then get the level seven spells, and you're all set, good to go. So we'll do that right now for everybody who's a caster on a party. So in the old days, if you do all that, you'll be called an Archmage. There's an Archmage class in two. More on that when we get to Bard's Tale 2. Now onto the spells. Now we're gonna review most of the spells and most of the spells are halfway decent. There are summons to uh, dealing with uh, resurrection and some uh, damage spells. Some related to the um, certain classes and stuff of enemies, such as undead and demons. That's what this class is really all about. First of all, Demon's Bane does uh, single direct damage on demon, which is good. Uh, both these are lesser summon and prime summoning. They're all right, but you have a wind dragon and wind uh, giant they're better now this possessed gets rid of possession which is real good if you need to do that summon fam's alright but there's better uh, spells flame column's okay it's another throwaway direct damage and it costs us too much anime undead does is uh, if a character is dead they'll uh, be alive for the combat then back to being dead which is not bad demon strike is like demon spam by a whole group of enemies which is real nice I do mean real nice uh, let's see what is next. Um, Baylor's Spellbind uh, possess a foe to join your party, and it'll take the summon spot, which is all right. Uh, Beyond Dead is like a resurrection spell, and you get one hit point restored. Uh, restoration you should uh, cast immediately after. Uh, spell Spirit is it'll get a high level undead, which is all right. Last but not least on the list, it's coming up, which is one of the best summons in the game. It's Greater Summoning. A greater gene will be summoned to the universe again. It's very good, but people will debate that either a wind dragon or a wind giant is very good. So that's debatable. So now let's go get to the catacombs. Uh, first of all, I'll stop before the second surprise I want to show everybody is a little detour on how repel undead works with a level 13 mage. So I'm going to show everybody that right now. Show how nice the uh, spell is. Real nice. So I did find a halfway decent uh, hot spot to try this in and so let's go there now it's a hot spot I'm really not going to use much which is 53 zombies so what we're going to do is repel undead just type REP three times or two or one depends on the number of casters you have and right there and there is where to cast that and like I said before with uh, casters the higher levels they get uh, the more damage they do with their spells until they hit a certain cap with that. For instance, level 13 uh, wizard with all spells can do some pretty good damage with Repel Undead and including Demon Strike later on if you go against demons. So that is Surprise 1 besides a nice another Bard Sword. Let's go down to Catacombs 2. Alright, I am going to show you Catacombs 2. I did fill the map up except for uh, two sections. I'll point that out in a few moments. Alright, first of all, I am going to port to the uh, near the spot. It's going to be right here. I might be wrong. No, I'm going to have to. Let's go save it. Alright, our goal in this one is to kill a certain enemy down here that's really optional. You do not have to do it. It's just, I just want to do it to show you I achieved something. But here's the thing though. In a few moments, I'm going to show you on the map uh, where not to go to, especially in legacy mode. So let's go kill this uh, statue first. Of course, my hunter just took it out in one hit. 
All right there, let's see what we gain, nothing. All right, all right, the low left corner of the map do not go there at all, even in the original edition or a legacy mode, because if you step in that, uh, you basically have to party fight yourself to get out, and once that happens, you are, you're all dead, and then you have to make a throwaway character to resurrect you all back and gain all that money you lost back. So let's um, right now go to our target. All right, onto our uh, new target we're gonna face for a few surprises. Now this creature we're gonna face is very tough. I recommend uh, all your uh, casters, two, three, or one are uh, archmages in this game. That's right, all the spells in the game. And it says you also it's greeted with laughter. You face one soul sucker. Soul suckers hit very hard. That's all I got out of him because as a few moments you're gonna see how this battle goes down. And they're very tough, so my advice is if you're not leveled up high enough and you went exploring level 2 at catacombs and you meet this guy, yeah, most oddly you're going to die. And worst part is if you didn't have appropriate crane, you'll be forced to move in that uh, room you'll be stuck in in the uh, original version. Now in this version, the uh, room there will just drop your bard song, but still it's not good. So let's go with a trap zap. He doesn't drop much loot. Like I said, he's totally optional. And now we're going to get out of here and prepare for the next surprise. Folks, when you get to the catacombs, make sure you have appropriate arcane when you get to level 2 so you can start uh, bouncing around the floors and stuff. Like I said, again, this build is very useful, most useful in the game. And now let's prepare for the next surprise. It is inside the castle, so we'll just heal everybody up. Besides Kaler taking 9 damage from the soul sucker. And there's one thief. Yeah, we'll let him live. But we'll kill his uh, older cousins next time. Let's see here, let's recharge and uh, get to the castle. Uh, speaking of the castle, after you uh, did what you did in uh, Catacombs Level 3 and gotten the uh, eye, you need to go to the castle. That's your next goal. So we're going to go walk into that right now. And our surprise should be in there at any moment. And let's go check this out right now. And let's see here. No statues. If this was in Lake Simo, statues would respawn. You'd be fighting them over and over again just to get to the castle. No fun. So here we go. Baron Harkins Castle. It tells us it says this is the entrance chamber of uh, Harkins Castle. It is not guarded, but a sign threatens trespass with death. Shall you enter? Yeah, let's just go enter. There's a nice surprise when we enter it. There you have Storm the Castle Steam Achievement. I want to show everybody that. It's a very important achievement. If you're an achievement hunter and you should always get achievements like that because it's very easy to enter boom achievement that's it all right next going next bill will be uh, Harkins Castle instead of going down now we're gonna go up I'll explain that in, um, in future videos all about that well that's about does it uh, for today this is Lord Fenton signing off please like comment and subscribe to my channel today was a day for a 2-1 uh, steam achievement happy achievement hunting everybody